cat and mouse game is a game for children where you ask for two volunteers to play the cat and the mouse. But it used to be an old pagan ritual used mainly to interact with evil spirits. While it was mainly used as a scare tactic to play with otherworldly demons and devils, there is still a very existent chance of death to those who play the cat and mouse game. There is an even higher chance of permanent mental scarring. It is highly recommended that you do not play the cat and mouse game. However, for those few thrill seekers searching for a rush, or for those delving into obscure occult rituals, these are simple instructions on how to play. Do so at your own risk. Instructions Prerequisites It must begin exactly at 1 a.m. when you begin performing the ritual. Otherwise, it will not work. Materials. You will need a candle, two pieces of paper, a writing implement, matches or a lighter, at least one drop of you and your partner's own blood, and at least enough volunteers to form a circle. They will need their own of the aforementioned materials, and they will have to perform the steps below accordingly. Step 1. Draw a cat on one piece of paper and a mouse on the other. It doesn't have to be perfect, you just need to get it done and over with. Step 2. Write you and your partner's full names, first, middle, and last, on the pieces of paper. Place your name on the piece of paper under the drawing of either a cat or mouse, and your partner will do the same with the other. Put at least one drop of blood on the papers. Allow it to soak into the papers. Step 3. Turn off all of the lights in the place you are doing this. Now, take out the candle and light it. Place it next to the blue blood-soaked papers, where it can be in the middle. Step 4. Have your friends form the circle. The hour must be 1 a.m. upon doing so. Then, blow out the candles and if you are the mouse, you must enter the circle. But if you are the cat, you must stay out of the circle at all times. Your friends have to hold hands, and they begin repeating these words over 30 times above a whisper. Your friends have just allowed the cat man to enter your friend and hunt you down. Step 5. Survive without being caught. This is where the game begins. You must now run around outside or inside your house. Your goal is to avoid the cat man at all costs until 5 a.m. Should you feel like you are being watched, that means the cat man is near you. You must hide till he is gone. If you are not successful in doing this, you must immediately run back in the circle. If you are unsuccessful, the cat man will catch you, rip you apart, and eat your flesh and organs one by one. You will feel it, but you will be unable to react. If you are successful in running back in the circle of your closest friends, you must remain there until 5 a.m. If you are successful in hiding, you may proceed with the game. You must continue the game till 5 a.m. without being attacked by the cat man or being trapped inside the circle to win the cat and mouse game. The cat will leave your friend's body at 5 a.m. and you will be safe to proceed with your morning. Addition Indications that you are near the cat man will include hearing very soft whispering coming from an indiscernible source and seeing your partner through the darkness. If you experience any of these, 
it is advised that you leave the area to avoid the Catman. Do not turn on any of the lights during the cat and mouse game. Do not use a flashlight during the cat and mouse game. Do not go to sleep during the cat and mouse game. Do not attempt to use another person's blood on you and your partner's name. And definitely do not attempt to provoke the cat man in any way. Good luck. You're going to need it.